today's video, I will be showing you how to make these beautiful velvet shorts in a size small. It is easy to adjust uh, for this pattern. So this is the front side, this is the back side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the materials needed for today's tutorial. The materials needed for today's video is some velvet yarn. I am using this Bernat Baby Velvet. It is a four weight yarn, uh, so you will need some of that. I will be using two different colors, so I will be using the gray and a green, but you can do a solid color if you'd like. You will also need a stitch marker, a pair of scissors, and a four millimeter hook. So let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. For part one of this tutorial, we will be working the solid middle section and then we will work the band as well as the bottom right here separately. So we are going to start with the waistband. Okay, so to begin, we wanna start with a slip knot. If you are following along with my size for the small, you want to chain 112 chains. So go ahead and do 112 chains and meet me back here. Now, when you have your 112 chains, you want to work your way back down to your beginning stitch because that is where we are going to attach. You want to make sure that your yarn is not twisted when you do this. So here's my beginning chain. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hook in there, pull over and slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain up two. This is not going to count as a stitch. Yarn over insert your hook back into that same space and work a double crochet. So this will be our first stitch is that first double crochet. You can mark that if you would like. Um, and now what we are going to do is we're going to work a double crochet into each of the stitches around. Um, and at this beginning portion, I like to work over the top of my tail. So that extra piece, so I don't have to weave it in later. If you would like, you can pull that off to the side and not work over the top of that and go ahead and weave it in later if it's a little confusing for you. So for round one, just simply do one double crochet into each of the stitches around and I will meet you back here for round two. Okay, so I have successfully made it around round one for our shorts. So now we want to make a double crochet on top of our first double crochet. So when we go in and we pull up our loop and we pull through the first two, we wanna make sure that we get that kind of tight. Go through the next two, make sure that one's pretty tight. Go ahead and grab your stitch marker and put that on your first stitch. So now what we want to do is work into the back loops only, which is a little tricky to see, but if you can just kind of feel it, you know we have our front and our back, so we're gonna go through the back only, and we're gonna make a double crochet. And for the next few rounds, we are going to be working into the back loop only. We are going to do a total of 11 rows. So we have 10 more rows to do. So we've already done one, we're working on row two. So continue to work uh, double crochet into the back loop only for a total of 11 rows. And meet me back here and we will go ahead and start working on the crotch and making the legs. So I will see you back here soon. Okay guys, so this is what it should look like after you have completed your 11 rows. So now what we want to do is we want to um, go ahead and go into, let's see here, we are going to count over. So we have our last stitch here and what you want to do is count 56 stitches from your start point, count around and then take your stitch marker and just kind of put the two bits together. So I'm gonna go ahead and count 56. I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I have found my 56th stitch. I'm just gonna put those two together. So what we're gonna do is we are going to chain for our crotch and we're going to attach on the opposite side, um, not with the two parts together. Uh, if you want, you can even just take your stitch marker out from the beginning and put it in the 56th stitch. 
on the opposite side because we know where our next stitch is. So from here, we want to go into our next stitch and we are going to slip. And if you're following with my size, I'm going to chain 12 chains. If you're doing a medium or large, go ahead and make more chains, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so here is the 56th stitch. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, hook in there and attach my chain to that stitch, okay? So now what we want to do is turn our work so that we have our stitch marker facing us, chain up two, and now we are going to work a double crochet back into that space. So that will be our first stitch um, for the leg. So as you see here, we have this bit. So we're gonna be working around this way. We're not gonna be working on this side yet. So go ahead and work a double crochet into the back loop only all the way around until you get to where the beginning of this chain is and I will show you um, what to do next. Okay, so I have worked around the outside. As you see, this is where we had attached. So this is the beginning of our round. Um, this is where we began our chain. So we simply want to do a double crochet over each of the chain 12s that we made. So just simply do that all the way across, just like this. So then when you work the other side, you'll just work on the opposite side of the chain. Um, when you go to make your second leg is what I mean, you'll be working on the opposite side. So we are just going to continue this all the way over to the other side. We'll do that together. Okay, here we go. Once we get back to the other side, we will want to move up our stitch marker. So when we get back down to the other side after our chains, go into this last one right here. We want to do a the second round. So this is what it's looking like. So here is our first double crochet. So then for row two, you want to go into where we did the slip stitch, uh, or the chain two space right there, as tightly as you can. You want to make a double crochet to pull that in tight. Now grab your stitch marker and put that right there. So we want to continue to work in the round for this one leg. So we're going to continue around for a total of six rows of double crochets into the back loop. And then you will tie off, you will pick a side, preferably um, the side away from the crotch, and then you will work the opposite leg. So go ahead, work six rows. I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the top here, we're working along the leg. So I'll show you what it looks like once I get um, my rows done here, and then you'll attach and do exactly as we did for the first leg on this side for a total of six rows. So go ahead and do that. I will meet you guys back here and show you what it looks like. So here I have done my six rows and I am back at my stitch marker. What I'm going to do is slip stitch into the next stitch, chain up one, I'm going to take quite a bit and then I will go ahead and cut off. Once you've cut off, you simply want to pull that through. I like to make a knot. Okay, and then you'll want to go ahead and sew that in. So here we have done the first leg. Now what we want to do is go ahead and start on the other side. Now the way I like to do it is 
um, right here before the crotch, I will go ahead and insert my hook and attach my yarn just like that. Now I will chain up two, one and two, and we're going to double crochet back into that same space. Put your stitch marker and you will proceed to do what we did on the other side. So we are just going to simply do a double crochet all the way around the second leg. So if you look at it from the top, here's where our waist will be. We've worked leg one, and now we're gonna work all the way around this portion here for six rows. We will tie off, and then we will go ahead and work the border stitch here, work the waist, and we will be all done. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like when you have your six rows done for each of your legs. Now what you want to do is grab your silver yarn or your secondary color if you're doing a solid. Um, then you want to attach to the leg and do two rows of half double crochets and tie off. Then you will attach to the other side, do two rows of half double crochets and tie off. Then you'll just want to go ahead and weave in your ends. Next you will come up to the top here and add two rows with the gray, two rows of double crochet around the top. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like once you do the two rows of half double crochets on the leg and the two rows of double crochets around the top. Okay guys, and that's what it looks like after we have done two rows of half double crochet on the bottom for each of the legs. And I went ahead and did the two rows of double crochet at the top. So to finish this off, what we want to do is I made a chain of 200 and then I slip stitched all the way back down those 200 chains. So go ahead and make this, uh, meet me back here and I will show you how I go ahead and thread it through here for the final step. Okay, so picking whichever side you want for your front, um, not directly in the middle, but a little bit off to the side is where I like to start. Um, let me get a little bit closer here. And I just like to push that through. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a tighter squeeze and just leave a bit in the front. And then I like to skip about four or five stitches and then just push it back to the front of the fabric. And so we're just gonna be weaving in this band. And again, I'm just gonna skip four or five stitches. We'll go ahead and push it back through. So just continue to do this all the way around until you have weaved your um, band all the way back to the front. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, you guys.